Hello to all friends and fans of the pulp, paper and bioproducts industries. Welcome to our exciting Spectrum podcast, where today we will be talking to an Andrews expert about how to ensure the quality and consistency of chips to be used in the mechanical pulping process. I am Mark Rushton and I will be your host. What you put in is what you get out, so the saying goes. And this is completely true when talking about the pre-treatment of chips in mechanical pulp production. High quality, consistent chips improve the whole pulping process and the making of top quality paper products is reliant upon the quality of raw material going into the process. Andrit's deep knowledge of the dedicated technology ensures top quality chips and low energy costs throughout the mechanical pulping process. So today we are delighted to welcome Ernst Kubra, Andrit's product manager, Refiners. Great to have you with us, Ernst. Hello, Mark. Thanks for having me. So can we start by you telling us a little bit about the history of uh, Andritz and its experience of pre-treatment for the mechanical pulping process? Certainly, Mark. You know, when we're talking about chip pre-treatment for mechanical pulping, we're actually talking about chip pre-treatment for HC refining. And to get the smoothest refining and the best quality fibers, effective chip pre-treatment is key to achieve that. The target is always to prepare the material for the refining process. And our industry has challenged this topic in various means. Historically, the first attempts were made with plug screw feeders. But this is a very basic solution that does not produce the best results. Andrit soon discovered that we can do better here and we improved the technology by introducing a machine called the chip press. This one was later revolutionized by the MSD and now we've reached a point where we have improved upon that with the Prime MSD, which we are here to talk about today. Okay, thank you, Ernst. Uh, an excellent start. It seems that Andrus has a lot of experience in this area of pulp production. Can you give us a brief overview of the aspects of chip pretreatment in mechanical pulping? Chip pretreatment is a crucial stage in the mechanical pulping process as it sets the foundation for effective fiber separation during the refining process. Two of the most key aspects here are first, energy efficiency or energy consumption. Mechanical pulping is a very energy intensive process. The production of the final pulp consumes between one and 2000 kilowatt hours per ton of pulp. So this is a very big number and to reduce uh, the energy consumption is something that all paper and pulp producers strive towards. Second aspect would be high fiber quality. High fiber quality leads to high pulp quality and high pulp quality leads to high paper quality. How do we achieve this through uniform impregnation? Uniform moisture content and uh, uniform chemical impregnation is essential for consistent pulp quality. Historically, techniques such as steaming the chips and compression followed by liquid impregnation help in ensuring even chemical distribution. So first, energy efficiency and second, fiber quality are some of the most key aspects that can be influenced by chip pretreatment. Okay, excellent. Thank you. And how does high quality chip pretreatment affect end paper quality? Well, Mark, you started um, this podcast with what you put in is what you get out. That means if you put in uneven chips with uneven moisture content and bad impregnation into the refiner, you will get out load swings, you will get inconsistent fiber quality, you will get inconsistent pulp quality and then inconsistent bad paper quality. However, if you put into the refiner even-sized chips with a uniform moisture content and good impregnation, this will lead to stable refining and you will get out fibers that are consistent uniform quality and lead to the best quality paper. With the Prime MSD, we have the option to achieve something we like to call controlled maceration. This we will hear a little bit more about later. 
But this leads to a reduction of shives already in the blow line. And shives are very bad for the paper. So reducing the amount of shives in the fibers is essential to achieve high quality paper. I can give an example here. Um, we had a customer in China, a big uh, paper and board manufacturer, and he purchased from us the replacement of one of his plug screw feeders with our MSD. And we gave him a guarantee that through this replacement, the amount of shives would be reduced. We guaranteed this. And we were able to very comfortably reach this guarantee, proving that the installation of the MSD directly affects the number of shives by lowering it. Great answer. Thanks uh, very much for that, Ernst. Can you um, tell us how Andritz achieves all of these prerequisites for quality mechanical pulping? Can you tell us how you achieve this with the prime MSD impressor finer? Happily. So I mentioned um, we do something called controlled maceration. And the emphasis here is on controlled. Because um, when you are trying to achieve the best impregnation, you have to compress the, the wood chips. You have to compress them so they soak up the impregnation liquor. This is standard in the industry since many years. But um, rather than just compressing them with a high compression ratio, like a plug screw feeder does, the MSD takes a different approach. We do something um, called controlled maceration by squeezing the material softly, but multiple times. So instead of one very big hard squeeze, we put in several smaller squeezes. You can think of this uh, like wringing out a towel. If you have a towel that's soaking wet and you squeeze it once, you will get out a lot of water, but it will still be wet afterwards. If you take the same towel and wringing it out once, twice, three times, maybe even a fourth time, then you will get out much more of the water that's contained inside it. And then when you re-immerse it in, a, in water again, it will soak up even more than before. And the same is true here for wood chips. Compressing them once with a plug screw feeder squeezes out water and it will soak up um, some impregnation liquor. But if you take instead an MSD and compress the wood chips once, two times, three times in a row, then you will get out so much more water and it will soak up that much more impregnation liquor. Thank you, Ernst. That was a, an excellent description. I really had a picture in my mind of, of what you were talking about there. But um, there's some technical people listening here. So can we take a deeper dive into how Andres actually achieves this with the prime MSD impressor finer? So the way that we achieve this multiple squeezes, this cyclic compression, is through a feature in our special MSD screws. And that feature is flight interruptions. A standard plug screw has one screw flight that goes from the beginning to the very end. Our MSD screws have a screw flight that is, that is has interruptions. So it means it stops at one point and starts a little while later. And in this section of the screw, the material is compressed because it's not conveyed by the screw flight. It is being pushed uh, by the preceding screw flight, much the same as the end of a plug screw, uh, in the middle of the screw where the flight interruption is, the material is compressed. And then when it reaches the next screw flight, it is being conveyed again rather than pushed. And so um, by doing this multiple times within the screw, we achieve multiple compresses, multiple squeezes, and that leads to the best dewatering possible. And in the sections where there are flight interruptions, we have special fiberizer keys protruding from the screw core, mixing through the material at the same time, achieving a very uniform outcome. A second feature that we use is a high screw length. We do not uh, have short screws which compress the material very quickly and out. We have a long screw making for a gentle 
even slow compression, um, not damaging the chips at all, uh, applying the compression very controlled, very gently, such as not to impact the fiber quality in any way. And the third feature that our screws have is a very special geometry of the core. Um, it is not a conical shape. It's a 3D screw um, allowing for a controlled compaction ratio that achieves this very precise compaction of the material. Okay. Thank you very much for that, Ernst. Now, how has the Prime MSD Impressor Finer developed over recent years? Can you tell us what's new? Gladly. So the Prime MSD has gotten a number of new features, which makes it special and stand out from its predecessor. The Prime MSD is the latest cutting-edge version of the MSD. Some of its most important features are the Advadrain design, by eliminating a flange at the outlet section of the compression housing, we can increase the dewatering area and maximize the dewatering of the material. We also implemented a new way to control the MSD with a flooded inlet with level measurement. This allows the MSD screw to operate at the uniform speed. Like any machine, you get the most consistent and stable outcome if you keep the operation parameters stable. So with a uniform speed, we can expect even more um, uniform chip quality. The Prime MSD also features torque pins at the outlet section, which can be adjusted to fine-tune the compression ratio, making it possible to adapt to various raw materials. Our Prime MSD screws feature the Adver Protect 70 hard facing, a special coating for our screws that is very hard and leads to very long lifetimes of the screws. All Prime MSDs feature the latest versions of standardized bearing units, which have the highest availability. We always keep some on stock. They can be exchanged very easily. Prime MSDs are also equipped with the latest IoT features, such as condition and deflection monitoring. Okay, great. So uh, we've moved on a long way now. So how does the Prime MSD Impressor Finer compare to a conventional plug screw feeder, and what are the advantages? We talked earlier about the analogy with the towel, squeezing once versus squeezing multiple times. A plug screw feeder is a basic machine. It just pushes the material forward, it squeezes once, it seals against the pressure, and that's it. The MSD squeezes multiple times. A plug screw feeder achieves some dewatering, but not the best one possible. A plug screw feeder achieves no delamination of the material. It achieves a moderate amount of removal of its extractives, but not the best. The best can only be achieved with the Prime MSD, which squeezes multiple times, which um, achieves delamination and which removes the most amount of water and the most amount of extractives. So, Ernst, can you tell us about delamination in this process? What delamination means in the MSD is we use those multiple squeezes to achieve cyclic compression and delaminate the wood chips. This means separating the fiber bundles gently from one another, making it possible for the impregnation liquor to penetrate into the wood chip itself rather than just coating the surface. Okay, excellent. And uh, can you explain how much impregnation is improved? I mentioned earlier that we achieve liquor uptakes that are two or even three times as high uh, compared to a plug screw feeder. But what does this actually mean in terms of refining energy? We have seen by replacing plug screw feeders with MSDs that the specific energy consumption on the HC refiner can drop by up to 25% which is a huge amount, can be several hundred kilowatt hours per ton. And this is really a big improvement. And this 
directly leads to energy savings, to cost savings, while at the same time improving the pulp quality. Amazing. And uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the energy savings and how this is achieved? Like I said, with the delamination happening in the MSD and with the multiple squeezes, uh, removing as much water as possible from the chips, we have the ability to absorb much more of the impregnation liquor. The chemicals are able to go into the chips between the fiber bundles. They're softening the lignin rather than just coating the surface as they would do for a plug screw feeder. And by doing that, the lignin, the substance which keeps the fibers together, is softened much more efficiently than when using a plug screw feeder. And through that, it's much easier for the refiner to defibrate. And hence a 25% drop in energy, which is great. Excellent. So thank you. We know a lot more about pretreatment of chips now in the mechanical pulping process. So Ernst, what can customers expect from Andritz in the future when it comes to technology in chip pretreatment? We here at Andritz, we never stop developing and improving our machines. And that could not be more true for the MSD as well. Even this year, we are working on a new condition monitoring system. We are implementing AI systems for factory control. We are becoming more flexible with the treatment of several different raw materials in the same machine, such as softwood, hardwood, and annual fibers. And we are also working on a very innovative adjustability technique that is being developed right now, making the MSD even more flexible and even more adaptable for changing raw materials. Excellent. So there's a lot going on. Thank you very much, Ernst, for all of your knowledge that you have uh, shared with us. Thank you very much for having me, Mark. It was a pleasure. So clearly, Andritz's knowledge and dedicated technology across the whole mechanical pulping process gives producers an advantage when it comes to producing top quality paper products. The Prime MSD Impressor Finer is a perfect example of how the pre-treatment of chips can make a huge difference to the final quality of output as well as significantly reducing energy costs. If you're interested in learning more about the Prime MSD Impressor Finer, you can find out more information in the show notes of this podcast. Thank you very much to our valued listeners and goodbye.